I've been uh, I've not been made aware that he's taken it personally or anything like that, but I'm sure there's not many players in the world that Khaled would rather beat than his former teammates. TRK, his only former teammate, who is in Salt Mine. Well, let's see if he can do it. They did not match up in stage one of the competition, but they have matched up plenty times in the past. TRK usually has the edge in this matchup. He's such a smart player that, you know, all of Khaled's tricks and all of Khaled's uh, positional brilliance is usually fairly ineffective against TRK. And then TRK just has more mechanical threats at his disposal. So yeah, Khaled is going to win this one. He will have to be an extremely mechanical version of himself, I feel. A pretty quiet start here. Khaled surviving on low boost. He nearly had the recovery there with the flip reset wave dash. TRK continues to attack and he's just too clean with the resets. 1-0 TRK. This really is something he is well known for, isn't it? Just landing the ball and immediately moving it. No need for a delay. No need for any kind of pause after resetting his flip. He just uses it straight away to outplay his opponent. Khaled now. Looking to tie the game, and does so. Escape the bump, escape the demo, and slam the ball into the open net. Clean equalizer there for Khaled. TRK thought he could catch him. Khaled escaped. Reminder, by the way, we are playing this on the Middle East servers. So pretty cool occurrence here that when we do have two players from another server playing against each other in Salt Mine 3, and both players agree to another server, for example, South America, US West, Middle East, that is possible, and it's happening right here. Oh my word, TRK is just unreadable. He's just absolutely unreadable on that play. Late flip reset, and then a wave dash under the ball to shoot the ball past Khaled, who is just about to land his challenge. Yeah, if you're standing off from TRK's flip resets, you're probably gonna suffer. TRK missed the ball there, tried to take it back to his corner. Now Khaled's got an option off the wall. He does take early reset from him as well. TRK fakes a challenge. Khaled not going to fall for it. Air roll shot just wide off the crossbar and the post there from Khaled. And that was definitely a close one. TRK would have... He would much rather see a little bit of contact on. You never want to see the ball flying past you when you're attempting a challenge. Multiple mind games in a matchup that we expect mind games to be a big part of. When TRK first made his name known in the 1v1 scene, a lot of people drew similarities between himself and Khaled. They were both so calculated with their approach and both so difficult to outplay, so smart with their positioning. And it makes sense that people would draw comparisons between the two. So far, we're seeing kind of what we expected, a respectable matchup from Khaled, but TRK's mechanics looking that little bit more scary. Whenever he can get the ball into attack, Khaled, fake wall shot, looking to dribble infield instead. Let's the ball bounce low, shoots first time. It's a tame shot, especially by Khaled standard on the half volley. TRK is not going to do the same thing back. Full volley into the roof of the net. It's 3-1. That was just not good enough from Khaled. When it comes to his offense, Toxic 2-0 against Moxie. What on earth is Toxic eating for breakfast today or for lunch, I suppose? Maybe even dinner if he had that early. 3-0 against Ruas and now 2-0 against Moxie is crazy. But Group B is wide open. No, thanks to Toxic. Both groups, to be honest, absolutely wide open with uh, Vatira and Zed 0-1 in Group A. Ruas 0-1 in Group B. Crazy. Absolutely crazy scenes. Khaled's missed his clear here, but still has control of the ball. Only down by two, but the difference in offensive threat is noticeable between these two players. What can Khaled do to get TRK out of his comfort zone? Looking to fake a flick here. TRK just controls the ball off the back of it. Phenomenal stuff by him. Khaled's still attacking, though. Wants to seal the boost on the far side. Maybe threatening the demo, but TRK, elusive as ever, gets away from it. And then sends the ball straight on target once again. So many fakes in this matchup already. You can tell that these two guys are very familiar with each other's styles. 
TRK, great match for Khaled in the 50-50 game. Great match in the strategical game as well. I mean, there's a reason why when I asked Khaled at Gamers 8 2022, who's going to play the 1v1 for you, uh, for you guys? It was Falcons back then as well. And he pointed at TRK. Um, and he said TRK is the best 1v1 player in the world. Even when they were teammates, Khaled, he, uh, he thought TRK was number one for 1v1. And whenever they did play, TRK would usually have the edge, even though Khaled had many respectable showings against him. I mean, this is just so tough to beat. TRK with the trip and the shot makes it 4-1. Khaled has to throw caution to the wind here in game one. Not brought his A game offensively. And TRK is even going to pre-flip and save the attempted kickoff goal. Further frustrating Khaled. A booming clear off the back wall. Wastes even more time. Yeah, although it's a competitive game, it's a game where TRK looks like to be fully in control. Flip reset for Khaled. Mind game, not going to work. TRK plays the ball. This possesses him. And pretty much confirms the game one win. Khaled's pre-jumping to try and get something going here. And he has stopped TRK's attack from reaching the halfway line. It just looks like TRK can pretty easily handle what Khaled's brought in this first game. Khaled's aggression has to increase. That's a great half volley, but it's still not enough. Khaled's had a couple of crossbar shots. He's been forced to the limit with his placement. But TRK was just too good in this game. Aerial dominance from the youngster. Khaled will have to wait a bit longer before he can get his revenge. Massive boost consumption domination there by TRK on the next rank post game stats. If you want to sign up for the next rank.com, you can for free and you'll get a 15% discount when the course made by apparently Jack and myself releases later this year. Um, you'll also be able to have access to some sneaky videos that we've been making um, in the run up to the release of the next rank uh, for anyone who decides to sign up before uh, the drop of the official site. Let's see what the updates are. We've got a couple of results to show to you guys because we're running a bit late in our match. We're just one game in. Toxic 2-0. Ruas back to winning ways. Zen tying his series with Nas. Um, and I've not yet heard about Vatira Oski game two. Have you guys got an update for, for us there in chat? Oh, wow. It sounds like... Uh, so... Yeah, now pose 0-1 there against Rally with a forfeit loss. Um... Reports on that one are that he went to restart his internet and then he just hasn't returned. <laughs> so, oh my days. You guys are not going to believe what Nipo's done. So, yeah, it's coming in. <laughs> the news of what he's done is just coming in live uh, to me. So, Nipo went to restart his internet. He broke the wire. So he broke his ethernet cable. And now he's gone to buy a new one. And he's on his way back for, for his series. If he can win that series, that's nothing short of amazing. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he's got to go buy a new wire. And then he can he can log back into the game. But yeah, just to, um, I mean, we didn't have to talk about this at all in Sage 1. But since uh, we've had a couple of forfeits today in Sage 2, the way that it works for anybody who's just shooting in is that if you uh, if you're 15 minutes late checking into your first game, uh, then you lose game one, and then from then on you lose one game every 7.5 minutes. So Naipo, I think he probably lost his second game here. Did he? Wait, is he back? Or did he must be zero two now? Because it's been 22 minutes, uh, 22 and a half minutes have passed since the, the schedule starts out. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll give you guys any more updates as they come. Good luck now, boy. It's a race to get a new Ethernet cable and make it in time for the rest of his match. Now, meanwhile, Khaled's off to a good start here, but TRK is still looking absolutely terrifying. Toxic's winning 3-0. You've got to be joking. If Toxic has swept Rawas and Moxie back to back, that's unreal. Absolutely unreal. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. Shout out to uh, Naipo's manager, also TRK's manager, Azam, for keeping us updated on that. He says, 
the way that he wrote it was so funny. Well, he tried to fix his internet, he broke the internet wire. He's on his way to buy a new one. I don't think I've ever seen that in a Rocket League tournament before. Oh dear, where's Khaled going in this play? That's not the fake challenge that you want to be making, guys. Um, yeah, Khaled looking to fake a challenge on CRK there, but he turns to the boost instead of back towards his goal, just leaving it completely open. CRK going to pick up Khaled's back corner boost after Khaled fails to dispossess him with the delayed kickoff. CRK continuing to dance and dart underneath the ball in these mid-air exchanges. Khaled survived this one well, but his boost is dwindling. Wants to continue shooting early, Khaled, to keep TRK guessing. But these aren't the max power ripper shots Khaled's been known for in the past. Close pinch save. Keeping TRK at bay once more. Khaled going to pass to himself with a little back pass off the wall there. That air dribble off the ground. Khaled looking to go straight down the pipe with a mind game. But TRK is playing the ball every time. Khaled is going to need to start moving it because TRK is not falling for these fakes. But really the problem for Khaled in that play is he wasn't lined up properly to shoot the ball at any different type of angle, any different type of height. He could only hit that one straight forward with the way that his car was positioned. So TRK knew if he came from goal side and hit the ball, you're covering the hit and the potential fake. Much better though from Khaled in the kickoff game. Big hook kickoff wins it and leaves it wide open. Toxic 3-0, oh my goodness, Toxic 6-0 in Group B. That's unbelievable. And let me just read to you guys who Toxic got left to play. Toxic's already played against Ruas and Moxie. He's 6-0 in games, and now he's got to play against Khaled, Atomic, and TRK, who are the three lower seeds, three seeded opponents. He's already 6 0 the two highest seeded players in that group. That is unreal by Toxic. What a performance. Uh, definitely go check those series out later on if you want to see how he did it. Khaled shooting way wide there with the uncontested shot. A better game two here with the offense for Khaled. Nice fake by TRK. He has actually bumped Khaled back into position here. Shot is going to be good enough regardless. Khaled Wanted to pinch this one. Then he leaned away from it, actually faking it. Probably thinking that that would force TRK to turn. But TRK is reading all these fakes from Khaled brilliantly. Um, even when Khaled's faking a wall pinch midair, TRK is predicting it, playing perfectly around it as well. TRK, got to be careful here. Khaled on the recovery. Gets the demo. It's wide open for Khaled here. He's got all the time in the world. Secures the equalizer. To punish TRK for overextending. TRK was really in a horrible spot trying to recover down his own line. Yeah, Khaled lost his first uh, match today for being late, but now he's here and he's putting up a good fight against TRK. Who earlier on today got his opening series win. You know, TRK is in a great spot in this group at the moment. He's going to finish off today playing against Rawas, but he's in a good spot because while Toxic's handing losses to TRK's biggest rivals. He's just grinding out wins against the lower seeded players in the group. This should be a goal for Khaled though. I think he's missed it. Oh, he's missed it by a long way actually. That should have been a goal. Usually Khaled's open nets from distance are consistent. And he's got a good angle to challenge TRK here actually. And TRK with a bump. Oh, what a save by Khaled. TRK gives him the compliment for that one. Brilliant positioning by Khaled to give himself the ability to react to that play and this one likewise Khaled's getting some consistent saves now on consecutive aer aerial plays from TRK fake it field Khaled scores to go up by four and although most of his fakes have been read by TRK today that one absolutely wasn't TRK thought Khaled was going to barrel around the wall he just cuts in field and makes it a one goal advantage for himself and TRK is actually just driven off to the side here. I'm not sure what's going on. It looks like he might have DC'd. We're at 101 in the game there, so I'll just really quickly pause and we'll figure out what's going on. Um, <laughs> let's see what's happened to TRK. He says go. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do what all, all good admin, admins should do and say ready to the opponent as well. Yeah, it looks like TRK might have just had a controller disconnect there. Obviously, there's no, if, if, you know, it is a valid kickoff strategy to sit on the spot um, and do nothing. 
Uh, but what TRK did there was not a meta kickoff, so I'm assuming that that was just a, a complete disconnect. Yeah, there are some meta kickoffs that involve not going for the ball. If he did one of those and then DC'd, um, I think it would be play on. <laughs> but yeah, that just looked like a complete DC to me. I'm sure you guys would agree. Now TRK trying to tie the game with a flip reset is not going to work though. Khaled giving himself plenty space to react to that one. And now he's got the interception clean on TRK's follow-up play as well. Boost deal for Khaled also. Nice chip on the ball to send it out of reach. TRK doesn't have the boost to be going for this. Khaled does. And he's going to be up by two here. Khaled not even going to score it. He's wasting time instead of scoring a sixth goal. This is fascinating. He could have scored to make it 6-4. He's playing to waste time. I mean, it, that's so risky, you feel, but it looks like it's going to work out. Very interesting strategy by Khaled to close the game out here. So a lot of players would have just scored 6-4 there, but what Khaled knows is if I score, TRK could get a kickoff goal, and then we're right back to a kickoff where I don't have boost and possession for free. Right now, I've got one goal lead and a boost and possession, so I'm just going to keep it. It could also just be, you know, if they didn't want to score on TRK, well, TRK is out of position, but um, I think it's probably about not wanting to risk a kickoff there. And yeah, TRK wasn't really coming back either, so no, no real reason to rush it there. Uh, let's take a look at the results, bring in the blimp and see the confirmation on Toxic Supremacy for Group B. He's 3 0 Rawas, now he's 3 0 Moxie. Rawas has dropped a game to Atomic, TRK's dropped a game to Khaled. Group B is turning into an extremely close affair. Uh, Drally's 2 0 up on Naupo. I think that that was also another forfeit loss there for Naupo. Um, don't think he's made it back yet with the Ethernet cable. And Vatira's come back from one game down against Oski to lead to one. Uh, we'll get straight back into the game here between Khaled and TRK. And we'll see if Khaled can continue to remain competitive in this matchup. I love the defense from Khaled. He's backed off a little bit more. He's not trying to early challenge TRK too much, understanding that that's not really going to work against a player who's as solid behind the ball as TRK is um, and as capable as quickly, uh, quickly moving the ball as TRK is as well. Yeah, Morocco's on fire today. 2-1 Nasser with Zen. I forgot to mention that one. That's crazy. Um, Drally handing Nat Zen a loss earlier today. Now Nas also. Morocco currently the nation to beat at the start of today. Khaled puts some pressure on CRK with the kickoffs. Heavy hit. Forces a bad save. TRK did not want to hit his own crossbar with that save. He wanted to hit it over the bar up near the back wall. That is not what happened. Khaled is in the driver's seat already in game three. Double reset TRK, blocked and read the entire way by Khaled. It's a much more goalkeeper focused defensive uh, stance from Khaled than we're used to seeing from him. He's much more of an, ag an aggressive, much more active defender historically, where he likes to challenge early. One of the absolute greatest of all time at spotting early challenge opportunities. But here versus TRK, he's played a lot more passively than I think TRK would have expected. And it's working out wonderfully. Oh no, that's such an unlucky old goal, Khaled. He can't catch up to it. <laughs> oh no. He got the clean demo on TRK, but he's been bumped into the ball while following through. That's, that's absolutely ridiculous. I think they actually pinched that between them while he was going for the demo. And somehow that has sent the ball flying towards Khaled's net. There's no way that he expected that one to be absolutely sailing towards his net from that angle. But that's what's happened. And now, from 1-0 in an advantageous position to 2, or rather to 1-1. One, one. So look, Khaled in a great spot here. He's got TRK in a bit of trouble once again. Just boxing TRK at the plate, looking to trip him up if he can. TRK, although low on boost, able to play the ball into a very awkward position, which Khaled has dealt well with. Now TRK forced it back down. Khaled flicks top bins, it's saved. Khaled sticking around for the boost seal though. Now here he comes off the wall. Methodical takeoff, flip reset from Khaled. And the shot to the bottom corner. Completely outplaying TRK. This is... Clin clinical Khaled, it's quintessential Khaled really just continuing to gain small advantages here and there, just 
a slightly better position for himself with every passing minute, every passing second, I should say. And then eventually the goal once there's nothing left for his opponent to do. Underestimated many times in recent years. The great Khaled, one of the greatest of all time, showing that he can still do it against the best in the world. That full volley is easily saved by TRK. And TRK punishes with the counter attack. Khaled will be very disappointed with his shot selection here because he played that one right into TRK's strong side. TRK can save that and counter attack quite easily. If Khaled shoots the other way, it's going to be much harder for TRK to shoot or to counter attack after saving. TRK, ground to air dribble. Flip reset on the way back down, and that's key. When you're getting your flip reset on the way back down like that, it's a lot harder to continue moving quickly. So TRK kind of grind to a halt on that one. That's why Khaled advanced. TRK still in control, setting up the wall shot. Decides not to go for it. Instead, he's got a bit of work to do if he wants to get control of this one again. TRK overhits his follow-up shot, but the boost should be there to steal. Oh, it wasn't in time. He left it just a split second before it spawned. Khaled with a flick to go up 3-2. What a difference a split second can make. TRK left that boost just a, maybe a quarter second before it spawned because he had to. But that slight mistiming was all it took for Khaled to have an opening on the counter. TRK ties up with a kickoff goal. Kickoff revenge from earlier on in the game. This game's really going against the two we've seen before it, though. Khaled's had the possession advantage. He's had the field control advantage. He's consumed more boost. You know, Khaled really is running the show right now in this game. TRK's been forced to defend. Fake jump there from Khaled. TRK not too bothered by that as he starts his air dribble across the field. That's a strong challenge by Khaled. He's going to have an option to shoot here. Instead, takes his time. It's a good bounce dribble line. The shot is lackluster again. Khaled, if one thing about today that he will be disappointed about, it's the power on the ground shots, full volleys, half volleys, have all been lacking that snap that they usually have when Khaled is on the field. TRK falling for Khaled's fake challenge there. Khaled's running out of boost, but so is TRK in offense. Both players pick up hundreds. And another fake challenge from Khaled has TRK jumping in a panic. These are very convincing fake challenges from Khaled as he wins back possession without actually having to challenge at the end of this play. There it is. TRK's boost runs out. Khaled gets possession for free without having to take any risks. Look at the speed of TRK. Oh my goodness. He was up so fast for that one. Khaled is way out of the game. TRK scores. to got 4-3. Just when Khaled thought he had some alone time with the ball, TRK was all over him and completely dusted him with a monstrous free jump in defense. Once again, competitive but trailing. Khaled on the wrong side of the ball here, but TRK plays it right into him. Khaled past TRK. TRK's recovery is not that good here, but the ball is in a very awkward position to shoot. Khaled's going to center it to himself, but he thinks twice before jumping, knowing that TRK's reflexes will match him in that kind of range. TRK passing around small pads. Finds time to grab the big one at the far side. Khaled mind gaming on his approach. Flicks and is red by TRK. These are threatening attacks by Khaled, but not quite good enough. In the grand scheme of things, TRK will stop most of these. TRK again backs down. It's a defensive performance in this game. The low 50! Of course it would be! The low 50 for Khaled. That ties the game. He's been flicking high, he's been shooting high, and now he switches low and catches TRK pre-jumping. Just under 40 seconds to go. Straight spawn kickoff. We're likely to go midfield play from this one. But TRK, oh, he might have DC'd again. Well, it looks like Kyle is just going to continue and play. TRK's here and he's playing, so. Can't keep pausing on all AFK kickoffs. Kyle is not going to rush the attack. We are going to go midfield play here. Good early challenge there by Kyle. TRK snipes a mid boost in front of him, though. Kyle forced to back down. All the way into his half. Here comes TRK in the air. Flip reset. But he's way off target. Khaled spots an opening. It's open for Khaled. And I don't think he's even going to score this. He's assuming that TRK is DC'd there. That is incredibly respectful by Khaled. He knows that for TRK to be that off target with an air dribble, he has to have disconnected. And that is incredible to see. The respect being shown. Khaled refuses the open net. 
He wants a real goal. And he might get one. Khaled is rewarded. With a kickoff goal in overtime. And he wins game three. Even after giving ZRK a second chance at it. Well played. Classy Khaled as always. I mean, this is why he's got so much respect in the scene. Especially in the 1v1 scene. He's given so much to this game mode. And still to this day, he continues to be one of the best players in the world. We're four years on from his Salt Mine 1 victory. And now he's two match points against TRK. I think we could take a look at some uh, highlights here if we've got them ready, Ben. Uh, we've not, I don't think we've looked at highlights yet in this series. Um, take a look and see what's been happening up until this point. Um, that, of course, gives me a chance, another chance to remind you guys to check out the Chalkcast who are helping to sponsor this tournament. That's right. Shout out me, CJ and Rizzo, uh, for helping sponsor the event, make it possible. And all we ask in return is that you listen to us talk about Rocket League and other, other things on the Chalkcast. If you've not had a chance to check it out already, uh, we do a live show every week. Well, most weeks, unless one of us traveling, of course. And we also have bonus episodes every week on Patreon, so definitely give it a look if you're interested in Rocket League podcasts. Um, and yeah, shout out to Rizzo and CJ for helping me cover the Salt Mine 3 action. Rizzo right now and CJ later on today. Zen in game five with another Moroccan. 2-2 uh, there against Nas. Um, we've also got the... 2-1 lead there for Awas against Atomic and a confirmation that Vatira has come back from one game down to 3-1 Oski. That's a game fives for Zen all day against the Moroccan players it would seem. But into game four we go for TRK against Khaled. The first match point for Khaled. He's lost that kickoff so hard that he actually gets back to it. I'm very impressed with what Khaled has brought to the table here, though. He looked like he was struggling to get the offense working again. One, well, now he's on fire. Khaled flicks all past the arcade. A great rate of knots. He went straight down the middle here. Well, there was no replying to that one. CRK tried to crossfire pinch save this one. He got a good touch on it. But the placement from Khaled was perfect. It wasn't right in the top shelf, which is interesting to note that it, flicking the ball and shooting the ball slightly lower. Oh, TRK's missed it over net here. You know, flicking the ball and shooting the ball slightly lower than absolute crossbar height can sometimes be advantageous because when your opponent tries to get a crossbar pinch save, much, much more timing sensitive than if you just hit the ball right underneath the bar, bar down and in. Uh, that's, you know, much easier to get a crossbar pinch save. Oh, TRK got the mid-boost. Khaled had a free shot at it, though, but it's hit the post. Both players have missed their shots. Khaled's completely fake TRK there, though. Oh, wow. He, did, he went for the double jump fake there just to give TRK the, the sound bite to worry about. TRK defends his back corner boost well, escapes the bump, and scores to make it 2-1. Khaled overextends and gets punished for it. Rawas won his series. Okay, so Rawas is back in action. It would seem. Matira's back in action. Um, has now push showed up for his series yet against Rally? Or is he still not there? What's the situation? Oh, it sounds like he's forfeited the series, I'm being told. TRK up 3-1 here. Perfect shot. Now Poi is back. He's got his cable, but he had to forfeit that uh, second series of the day against Rally uh, because he wasn't back in time. I know a lot of you guys are going to be saying, just let him play. You let him play. He's back. Well, the problem is we, we'd be holding up the entire... Uh, day. We're holding up, holding up the entire show if we wait. Make everybody wait for 30-40 uh, minutes. You need to have DQ timers in these competitions, unfortunately. And lesson learned there is have a backup Ethernet cable. It's a great, you know, low expense way to um, have yourself covered should you run into those kind of issues in the future. I'm sure he's learned his lesson. 4-1. CRK completely steamrolling Khaled in game 4. Unstoppable offense has been his main source of success. I think there could be more where that comes from. Not before Khaled lands is successful. Oh my goodness, what a reverse challenge. Khaled might have actually tried to keep that one out of the net. I, I think he's giving too much respect to TRK here. TRK was definitely moving there. Um, 
Callan slows it down, maybe thinking, is TRK DC'd again? I don't think he was. I think that time he was moving the entire time. I do agree with Callan's assessment at the end of game three that, yeah, probably for TRK to miss an air dribble by that much, he would have had to DC at some point. Um, yeah, Callan is being very, very kind to TRK. A lot of players would, and it would be well within the right to do so. Just continue to attack. Oh my goodness, what a save by TRK. That is extraordinary. He's slammed Khaled back into the ball while Khaled is trying an air dribble bump. TRK hits him with a bump save. He absolutely nailed the timing of that dodge and you really do have to flip as hard as you can into your opponent for that to work. Crazy that TRK is able to generate that much force um, with less momentum in his approach. He's up 6-2 now. TRK crushing Game four, Khaled probably going to stick in it for now, but this is not looking good for him. Yeah, it can be a bit of a problem for Khaled in these matches. He doesn't like to just go for immediate attack, immediate attack. He likes to play that chess match in the midfield. He likes to play for boost advantages. He likes to play for positional advantages before making that big committed play. It, you know, doesn't give him as much comeback potential in positions like this where he needs four goals. And he's going to go for one here. That's a tough shot, but he's hit the target and TRK is there to save it. Evan 2 TRK does not slow roll Khaled here. But that was just not quite enough there from Khaled. He would have had to hit that a lot harder and a lot more accurately if he was going to get a goal from that position. Yeah, it looks like we could be heading to another game five. We've had uh, the only game five of round one. Actually, no, there were two game fives of round one. I, I stand corrected. Well, it looks like we might be the only game five merchants today. Which will no doubt lead to script allegations. Kali continues to chug along and try to find scoring solutions against the improved version TRK. TRK is sticking around with not a lot of boosts here. Putting pressure on Khaled. Now the 100 does spawn for him into the air he goes. Setting up the double tap. Beautiful adjustment mid-air by TRK. He waited to see exactly what Khaled's defensive plan was and only then did he commit to the double tap. He had the option of Going for an air dribble block, an air dribble dunk, an air dribble bump, or even a flip reset there. But instead, he goes for the backboard after seeing Khaled pre-jump low. Yeah, 92. I wouldn't be surprised if Khaled forfeits at some point here. Unless he just wants to play out, he can play out the game. It's not a requirement for players to forfeit. But at this point, the comeback is almost impossible. Seven goals would be a record. Well, a, a, a record equaling comeback. We've never seen an eight-goal comeback in a competitive 1v1. Well, high-ranked competitive 1v1 at least. There's probably win one somewhere in ranked. Overall, if nothing else, this is good for Khaled's win loss that he's getting games off TRK. I'm sure he's going to bring his best in game five. But that'll make it eight, and that should, I think, just be beyond any shadow of a doubt. Great challenge by TRK to shut down Khaled's aerial game. Khaled's going to keep on playing though. I think he's trying to frustrate TRK here. <laughs> trying to bore the youngster. It's a strategy the older players can use, of course. Bore your Zoomer opponent by making them play longer than four minutes. I know it's very hard for Zoomers to focus on one activity for longer than four minutes. Khaled's going to try and test TRK's patience here. Most likely to try and figure out a scoring strategy. He's got one there. He can use this, if not to try and come back and win the game, to try and either condition TRK in some way with a kickoff game and then switch up in game five to catch him by surprise or to do some research and try and work out what is TRK doing that's working in this game to net him so many kickoff possessions. It's something you guys could do in your own games if you're in a series against a friend of yours or if you're playing against the same guy over and over again in ranks and you're way, way down in a match with no chance to come back, that's the perfect time to just test some strats against them. See, okay, is he weak to this kickoff? Is he weak to this type of play? Just start to get experimental. And then maybe you play again the next game and you can use that knowledge to your advantage. 
You know, Khaled is already extremely familiar with TRK's game, but wants to play this one out regardless and see if he can find out what works and what doesn't. The Erdemal Bump is good this time. You know, think about the way TRK did save Khaled's air dribble bump earlier. It was when he was facing Khaled, when he was able to bump Khaled into the ball. When you're shadowing, that's not possible. So Khaled might be looking for opportunities to air dribble bump, Khaled, uh, air dribble bump TRK sorry, in the last game. If he does run into that strategy again, if he runs into TRK shadowing in defense. Game four has been a dominant display by TRK. He's been essentially unstoppable with the aerial game. Too good with the kickoff game. It didn't really give Khaled much space or time to get any of his game going. It's going to be game five for the second time in today's stream. This time between two old rivals. They seem like they still have quite a lot of respect for each other. We're not getting the salt that we hoped for with Khaled recently being benched by TRK. Um, <laughs> doesn't seem like they're all that bothered by that. This is actually quite funny. I just realized, by the way, that I think Subparpa and HD had both of the matches today were... <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. The matches that Subparpa and HD were covering from today were Khaled's round one against Moxie, which Khaled forfeited, and now Naupo's round two against Rally, which Naupo forfeited. So they picked the absolute worst matches you could choose. <laughs> To, uh, to broadcast today. That's very unfortunate uh, for those guys. <laughs> really sorry, uh, Colin Stumpy, on that one. But we've got all the game fives. Hey, you know, they've got all the forfeits. We've got all the game fives. Somebody's got to take the L. Um, and somebody's got to take the L here. TRK and Khaled, both on the wrong side of the ball. Now that's going to change. But Khaled never wants to tilt in these kind of situations. I'm sure that a crushing loss in game four is not something that's going to bother him all that much. We're a clean reset for game five as TRK air dribbles to the ceiling and gets the shot into the crossbar. And a buttery smooth recovery. Make sure that Khaled's counter will be stopped before it can get started. I can confirm that Zen did clutch out the game five against Nas today. So he's taken one game five loss to um, a Moroccan player, one game five win against a Moroccan player. Zen's been going game five all day, just like we have um, in the mainstream. You have Atira, Rawas, Toxic have all confirmed wins. Andrelli, of course, have confirmed wins in round two. We are the final match being played, and TRK takes the lead in it. Just past one minute in. Khaled trying to bump TRK there. TRK with ridiculous awareness just hits the brakes and dodges it. Makes it look so easy, TRK. One of the most unpredictable movers in Rocket League, just in general, not just in 1v1. Khaled gonna steal his boost away here though. Bump is on, it's there, and now it's open for Khaled. He shoots well, 1-1. One, one. Perfect sequence by Khaled. Boost steal, trip, bump, and a top bins finish. Khaled with a kickoff win to the outside. Wall play is on here. He goes for it. It's to the ceiling. And he's got his flip still. Khaled wave dashing across the box. Seals away TRK's other boost. He's just trying to switch up the direction here, but didn't actually put a shot on target in that entire attacking play. TRK escapes the potential bump. Does not steal Khaled's boost to the back corner. Instead plays the ball. Khaled is going to get back and save that. Maybe TRK had an opening there for a longer period of attack compared to the one he went for. Oh, wow, Khaled across the box again. He's just going consistently, quickly across TRK's box, across the goal line. That one a lot more threatening on that occasion. Much faster pace game five here. That's TRK. Oh, he rushes the challenge beautifully. What a read. Just completely predicting Khaled's intentions. TRK turns and goes straight for the ball. Khaled did not spot that one. Both players have spent over a quarter of this game at supersonic speed. It's been by far the fastest game. And not a game, really, the speed that you expect these two to be playing at. Such a chess match in general when they play, but now they're playing quickly and they're still matching each other blow for blow. Khaled ties the game after outplaying another early challenge from TRK.
TRK with the kickoff goal. Fires to go in front once again. You know, Khaled got a big kickoff win to the outside earlier on. This time he went to the inside, but very side onto the ball. TRK was strong. I expect Khaled to try something different. No, he goes for the same strategy again and he's lost it again. Khaled looking to dribble the ball back. He doesn't get the landing he wanted. I think he can maybe. No, he can't save this. Well, that's a terrible recovery for Khaled. He had control of the ball here, but he landed upside down. Looks like the ball gave him far too much recoil compared to what he wanted. He's trying to dribble it back and keep control. He just completely lost it. And this ball is going to bounce towards Khaled. Full volley into the bar. Khaled looking to set up a boost steal now, which he's got. Doesn't want to allow TRK away back into the game here. It's clean demo. That's open for the time being. Khaled looking to fake a shot here. Now going for the real one, but it's way off target. Khaled creates too much of a gap between himself and the ball. He can't get back to it, and TRK is up 5-2. Such a close series. But now, these last two goals have been big mistakes by Khaled. Mistakes he cannot afford to be making. This is about the limit for a score difference. We can realistically expect him to come back with his style. With his careful and calculated style of play. What's he gonna what's it gonna be? Again, TRK is so quick up into the air. That is unbelievable. Anytime Khaled thinks about air dribbling, TRK is one step ahead of him. And not only that, he recovers to score as the ball bounces back up to him. The aerial defense from TRK is so lightning fast and now Khaled's job just got a little bit harder boost seal for Khaled TRK is a wall shot it's open and he nails it perfect counter TRK has built up such a strong advantage it started with some mistakes from Khaled but now it's just been brilliance from TRK in the last few goals No doubt Khaled's going to stick around and try and make the comeback happen here, but this is so, so difficult against an informed TRK. Oh, that's a good start for it, though. Khaled with the wave dash out play. Direction change on point for the great Khaled. TRK picked the wrong dodge. If he went, I think if he went left there, he might have had a touch on that one. He gets nothing but air as Khaled brings the goal difference back to four. That's another strong kickoff for Khaled. The boost in the back corner will be his. This time he doesn't have to worry about the immediate wall shot for TRK. In fact, he's almost got a goal immediately. TRK's bumped him out of position, though. So Khaled's advantage completely gone. TRK just working his way towards that mid-boost. Brilliant movement. Shielding the ball the entire way, and now into the air he goes. Khaled's takeoff and defense is not there. Air, it's just an air dribble over the top from TRK. Khaled waited too long. He's indecisive in defense. It looks like he was expecting an air dribble bump there. He jumped and then flew back down again. TRK did not go for the air dribble bump. It was a straight up air dribble. Making Khaled look a bit silly there. But, you know, really that's just all about Khaled reading TRK wrong. If TRK did fly in front of the ball, Khaled would look like a genius. But because he didn't, Khaled is nowhere near making a save. TRK is so fast in these positions. It looks like Khaled will get one goal back though with a strong challenge. He's keeping it competitive. You know, he had a couple of big mistakes in the middle of this game that would have caused some players to just completely tilt off the face of the earth. But Khaled just can, keeps chugging along. Fighting until the bitter end. But this end might be a bitter one for Khaled. TRK is back in control. Flip reset. Block. Thinks about scoring in reverse. Reverse dunk denied by Khaled. The follow-up also denied. A triple save by Khaled. But can he counter? Here we, here we go with the dribble. Delayed flick by Khaled. Just a pop. Well, how about that? Triple save by Khaled at one end. And then at the other, the fake flick. And the simple pop to score. 35 seconds left. Khaled needs kickoff possession. Needs goals quickly here. It looks like he might be able to work out. No, TRK is too fast. Khaled. Oh, he goes for it. He saw an opening. It's off the post. Oh, that was nearly exactly what Khaled needed. Brilliant spot to be the wall shot. But TRK now coming out with a reset. And that's good for 9-5.
that looked like the chance that needed to go in for Khaled to keep this comeback on. What a comeback it would have been from five goals down against CRK. To bring it back to just two goals would have been spectacular. Especially with the closing stages approaching. And potential for goals like this. I mean, think about it. If Khaled scored that wall shot and then scored that kickoff goal, we're looking at an 8-7 scoreline. But instead, we're looking at a 9-6 scoreline because the ball hit the post. You know, Khaled, he did have a chance to come back here. This was realistic um, to come back. But the mistakes in the mid-game, just too much, it would seem. They, without those, without those two big mistakes, again, we'd be looking at a one-goal difference. A very competitive game, but TRK will be rewarded for his clinical play. Beats Khaled in five. And just overall, too strong. Especially at the business end of the series. After the break, we're going to go to a break immediately here. We're running a bit late. And the next match coming up is going to be Zen versus Oski. So don't go too far. We'll be back in a few minutes uh, for the start of round three and the EU group stage.